Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Lancashire Mobile Apex Season 7. Alright, so I'm doing my qualifying matches. Um, as always, I'm going to try my best to rush to Gold 3 as quickly as possible. I'm not really feeling up to it, uh, mainly because I've been rather tired as usual. Uh, mostly my fault, I've been staying up much later playing games than I should be. Um, also, work has been ramping up a bit. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the box. I kind of showed this off towards the end of last season, but um, uh, the only thing to point out is the only characters that are not six stars are Naomi and Tensei Jessica. Tensei Jessica should be six stars by the time you guys see this video. Naomi's got a couple of weeks. Um, I'm also really close to getting Akaya up to six stars. So I'm, at this point, I'm kind of getting characters that are close to six stars to six stars. That way, if I ever get them as a... Um, off banner thing, I could potentially get gems that I can use for uh, for uh, sparking or swapping um, shards for other shards. Um, that'll hopefully make my future summons a little bit less painful, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, um, as for my opponent, uh, surprisingly not any new stuff. Uh, at this point, uh, Kruger and uh, I think it's Vincent, I think that's the other guy's name. Um, Yep, I was right. It was Vincent. Okay, so Kruger and Vincent are out, and they're AoE's uh, extraordinaires, especially Kruger with all of his massive debuffs. But surprisingly, I'm not encountering this in this box. Uh, so really, the only things to look at... Uh, three tanks. One, two... Three... Three healers? I mean, three healers, and I guess, well, technically you can get a, a heal from uh, Young Jessica. You can also get heals from... off heals from... Uh, Yulia and old old Landius there, but uh, yeah, uh, looks to be sort of a rush box because it does have a Kaya, uh, mostly AOE. Yeah, it seems to be mostly AOE though they have a few strikers. Anyway, let's dive into this. So I got rid of Rian because he's really the only the biggest threat out of the mess. Um, one hand, I usually still open with um, Freya just simply because I'm I'm, a little, I'm more used to using her, even though my uh, Hilda is now six stars. Um, looks like they banned my D-Lit. I have not been using my D-Lit very much. Um, but if it gets them to ban it, that's great. Um, but otherwise they went ahead and banned my Zerida. Nothing surprising there. Uh, they didn't grab a tank. Uh, probably because they have three tanks accessible to them. Went ahead and got rid of a Kayak because I didn't want to deal with the plus 30% attack and rush nonsense. Also, Yulia's self resing could be a problem. So, um, I also wanted to grab, um... I, I'm more willing to grab uh, Pyrotes even when they ban a healer first. Um, if they end up banning, you know, Rosen Seal and Sophia, I'm I would just have to grab someone like Young Jessica to do the healing for me, or just go without heals um, and see how it goes. But uh, I definitely wanted someone that can actually assassinate things reliably, and uh, that really kind of falls under Pyrotes or not Pyrotes, um, Illustrial. Sorry, not Pyrotes. All right. They grabbed Hilda. I was like, okay, that's fine. At this point, I went and got rid of... Um, I didn't want to deal with old Landius manipulating terrain and making it harder for Illustrial, and I didn't want to deal with the mass debuffs that, that is Bozal. So I got rid of them. Um, the other AoEers are not that big of a deal. Uh, Young Jessica doesn't do that many debuffs. Uh, she does hit hard, but she doesn't do that many debuffs. Um, Shelfaniel doesn't really do debuffs at all. She just purges uh, buffs and then... Uh, the only thing I really have to worry about from uh, uh, Rachel here is the her mass dotting thing where she does five dots. Nothing too crazy. Anyway, grab Sophie at this point because I already got Illustrial. They, get, they ban my Tensei Jessica, which I'm completely fine with. Um, they take Rosen Seal, which I, as always, I don't go deep. <laughs> um. Let's see, went ahead and banned the juggler because I didn't want to deal with him negating my guard. I also got rid of Shafaniel because she hits like a truck when she does AoE. Um, at this point I went ahead and grabbed young Jessica because I needed some long range support. Or, or bombardment rather. They grabbed their young Jessica. It's not often I see another young Jessica. And I was like, at this point I had the choice of grabbing Naomi. Uh, which will be another long range bombardment type. But I was actually really concerned about um, Elwyn here. Um, even with things like um, certain buffs that allow you to get immunity to um, heal negation, 
Um, since he purges buffs uh, with his attack, um, the only real surefire way to ensure that I don't get hit with heal negation is either have an accessory that makes it makes me immune, or have Rosen CL to soak the uh, the debuff. So I went ahead and grabbed Rosen CL, which will this will be my first. I think this will be my first battle with Rosen CL in my party. And they went ahead and grabbed Ryler as their last pick. Um, I don't remember what I was what I banned last, but um, I think I just banned the rest of their DPS. I was completely fine with them having extra healers. Because um, my plan was to one-shot kill everything. Um, Alright, so nothing special with the Rosen CL. All heals. Um, she's not going to have any um, faction buff, but she doesn't really need it. Um, the only thing that has AoE is young Jessica here, uh, who went Divine Right and Cleanse. Divine Right does purge uh, buffs, I believe. Yeah, purges one buff. Um, she also has Cleanse, which is a good call. Um, so this is the first time dealing with a Divine Right. Um, it's honestly not that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, it's just an improved form of her, her unique AoE. Um, the Rosen CL actually went Faction buff. Um, and Hilda ended up get, grabbing Route instead. Which is a neat idea, except for the fact that I have Rosen CL, so it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything. Um, pretty standard Wyler, all of his fancy uh, exclusive abilities, and then of course Elowen is pretty standard here with Eternal Light. I don't know why he grabbed it. Uh, actually, sorry, I know why he grabbed Eternal Light. He grabbed Eternal Light so he could buff Young Jessica. All right, um, nothing special, standard Illustrial with um. Elven Cavalry Archers. Um, I haven't completely maxed out their training yet. or I've matched out the, the, the troop training, but not the, uh, the, the the specific one that gives you an additional 10% to all stats. Um, I haven't gotten that one maxed out yet. Been working on it, though. Uh, standard Freya. My young Jessica is all single target, as always. Alright, so we'll go ahead and switch to normal speed and dive right into this. Let's go a little bit faster. <laughs> All right, so they're setting up up there. Um, I wasn't sure if their young Jessica had the staff that expanded range. Um, it would only apply to um, it would only apply to cleanse. It would not apply to uh, her AOE. Uh, but her AOE would be six range in this form, so definitely keeping track of that. Um, I was also always under assumption that she was going to have her exclusive helmet, but this one actually does not have an exclusive helmet. Which I'll find out uh, next turn, because he's not. She's not going to be able to do anything next round. All right. Yeah, the faction buff on Rosen Seal is actually really good because it actually applies her uh, stacks as well. So did not want to risk getting AoE'd. So I'm just kind of pushing in just a bit. So yeah. Um, she got her her talent buff, but she didn't. Uh, nothing triggered involving a, her exclusive helmet, so she doesn't have it. Um, so right now, she doesn't get extra actions when she sits still. High stakes. Honestly, I'm not that worried about high stakes. Um, I mean, at this point, it's kind of a tank fight, so I'm kind of just biding my time until I get an opening. She's going to get set up a Crystal Ward. Good stuff. So yeah, as you can see, Mind actually has the helmet. So I just moved in. Um, I didn't want to get too close because the biggest concern I had was um, Elwyn disabling, uh, cleansing off the... Um, the two range guard, so that's why I didn't move any further than uh, one step, because I wanted to remain adjacent, just in case it did get purged off. All right, here it comes. All right, so this one doesn't actually have um, fixed immunity, and. Unsurprisingly, uh, cavalry versus spears, it just, it doesn't work. <laughs> so, but, um, so yeah, Disrupt Prayer Trigger got him a bunch of his health back, but my young Jessica just laughs at that. 
Uh, he does. It did trigger his self res, but now he doesn't have one. Tactical retreat. So, pretty much, I won the trade there. The um, Elwin lost her. Elwin lost his self res. Um, I did lose my guard, uh, which kind of sucks. But he's so far away now that it's not going to trigger anyway. And his Reign of Glory is currently on cooldown, so pretty safe there. Moving up did provoke the Divine Right. Which hurt, but most of my characters had Crystal Healing still active, so it didn't matter. Um, Illustrial's having a little bit of trouble because of the river in the middle. Um, so I'm kind of just pushing in as much as I can just so I can finally get in range to actually kill things. Uh, just in case, I didn't I didn't see if a clock proc'd, so I just played it safe and had my Sophia stand far back to go ahead and apply heals. Um, my young Jessica had no targets besides uh, Hilda. Hilda is going with um, cavalry troops and not the crystal molders, so I was actually pretty safe as far as just not worrying about reflect damage. So, just got some hits in. So, Ellen's trying again. At it will be of no surprise that it's not going to make much of a difference. It did more damage this time. Well, that's about it. So, went ahead and applied a heal just so I can get my buffs back up and to, just in case the dispel's coming, because I know the dispel's coming. But uh, apparently she was out of range. So, I moved to that spot with Illustrial because that was the only patch of grass that I can attack from at two range. And uh, just completely blew away um, Elwyn. I wasn't sure how... I've, I've always been wary about uh, kind of bulky characters um, like Elwyn and stuff. Um, but uh, Illustrial's doing very good damage now, especially when she's in Grasslands. So it's pretty safe. Um, got hit with Rout, but I had Crystal Stacks so that didn't do anything. So at this point, my opponent can't really do much. Hitting me with some magic, but I have damage reduction and it's just not going to do anything. Alright, goes to my turn again. So, shift it back to do Rose Lash. Get the guard back up. Funny enough, uh, in hindsight, this young Jessica is dead. Um, next turn, the poison would reach her, and then she would she wouldn't be able to get out. Um, she would because uh, removing the transformation would actually count as an action and kill her. So I should have really paid attention to that um, because it did make a significant difference. Uh, she probably should have moved forward two spaces to there. Um, that would at least buy her time to actually reapply her. Um, or, uh, talent mob mobility, or um, the um, or at least have time to remove the transformation. So, so this actually kind of baited me because I didn't actually pay attention. She's this just young Jessica's dead. They can't. She can't do anything. Her stuff's on cooldown too. So literally can't do anything. But despite that, I went ahead and moved in to kill her. Went two range just to play it safe. Divine right. Get healed to full because I was in grasslands. And now the healers are going to try to take on my uh, my Illustrial. It goes as bad as well as you'd expect. Um, I actually have magic damage reduction while I'm in grasslands, so... Um, Pretty, I'm pretty safe. So yeah, I'm just constantly bombarding uh, Hilda at this point, and they're not going to be able to keep up with the heals. Um, yeah, magic. Yeah, so when fighting on forest, grasslands, and mountains, you get 30% magic or damage reduction, which is pretty amazing. So crystal restoration. It's not gonna be enough to heal. Go 
goes for the attack. Um, I think while I'm in Grasslands, my um, my archers actually ignore melee damage penalty. Uh, I think it still applies to Illustrial, so that does help a little bit. But just couldn't do enough damage. I went ahead and just... I, I ran away with Illustrial. I didn't really need to. But it kind of forced them to pass their turns, which would make it a lot easier for me to just kill their tank. So at this point, they're popping all their heals, getting her maxed out. As you can see, I can nearly kill her from 100% to zero. If I wasn't using the extra range staff, I would have probably gotten the kill. So I tried to get be cheeky and get the kill with the Rose Lash, but it didn't happen. So I just used Rose and Seal instead. Yeah, my my fixed damage wouldn't need to do another 1,200 to actually kill her. All right, so now she has no self res. I go in the attack Illustrial. Didn't do anything. Alright, so I passed turn in place so I can get an extra action and move two steps to get away from the, the mist. Um, I had no buffs at that time, but Hildo was so beat up it didn't matter. There you go. Good job, you killed my Illustrial. <laughs> And at that point, they gave up. They didn't have anything left. But they did kill my uh, my Illustrial. All right, so first my first match of uh, Season 7 actually was a win, which was nice. Um, my opponent here is blank. They opened with immediately banning my Rose and Seal, which is kind of dangerous uh, because, like I mentioned before, I only have three full healers, and then, of course, I have a Deedlet. So it's possible they can double up and take out all my primary healers, but that's just how the box is built. Um, my opponent, again, no new characters. Um, surprisingly, another young Jessica is on the, in the box. I don't I don't know what... what. I mean, she got her 3-cost skill, but 3-cost skill is not that great. Because um, there's other characters that are just better at doing the AoE stuff. So I'm a little surprised that they're going for that. Uh, but in any case, they only have 2 tanks. Um, it's... Uh, Albedo and freaking... Uh, Juggler. Man, I, can't, I can't believe I forgot his name. He's become more relevant nowadays. Anyway, um, really the only thing that stood out is a decent amount of AoE and a number of just a couple of assassins, really, in strikers, I guess. So it does look kind of rushy, uh, but lacking kind of the main tools it needs for that. Uh, but in any case, get rid of that. Get rid of Rian. He's the biggest threat. Grab my Freya. And they go for Tensei Jessica and my my Zerida. Uh, they didn't grab a tank. They went straight for Old Landius. Probably in pre preparation for Illustrial. So at that point I was like, alright, well, I didn't want to deal with... Since they banned my Rose and Seal, it's going to be a lot harder to deal with the heal negation. So I went ahead and got rid of their Elwyn and got rid of their Assassin in a turn. Grabbed my Illustrial. On this map, Illustrial is is Queen. Uh, she, she has so much map coverage. Even... Even old ladies is not going to be able to keep him, keep her at bay. So Good stuff there. Um, banned some of my assassins essentially. Uh, grabbed their bozel. So I was like, all right, well, I'll get rid of your Tensei Jessica, so no teleports um, or one-shotting my tank. Got rid of their Yulia because it self reses. Um, went ahead and grabbed Sophia at this point just so I can have a healer and get some buff flexibility. And they went straight for Aryan Rod. So at this point, I was like, fine, I'll kill your tanks. Buy tanks. So now, now you're now you're tankless. Um, we hand grab Rose and Seal because now they have no tanks. I can safely use Rose and Seal as I like, essentially. Um, they went and got rid of both um, Hilda and um, Florentia. To be honest, Florent banning just one of them would be enough to banning Hilda and then someone else. I am Florentia will become a lot less effective because she won't be able to get a faction buff. But that's all right. They grabbed Young Jessica. I was like, okay. I <laughs> don't really know how to react to that. Went ahead and banned some of their healers, uh, mostly act again types. Uh, this left them with Rose and Seal, which is... Rose and Seal is not going to do anything to me. And the other option is their, um, is their Lana. Um, which their... Or sorry, Luna. Uh, their Luna would um, essentially be their rush option, essentially. They'll, using her 3-cost skill, she can get everyone a bunch of extra mobility. 
but nine times out of ten she's going to be a flyer and i have a lustrial so i was like all right i'll happily let you have luna um again i was torn between the choice of naomi or Shaltier. both of them i would have to buff with uh, sophia uh but since this is a kind of rush a rush box or, or at least an attempt to rush uh rush me um i went fully on mobility with Shaltier. also majority of my opponents are casters um so physical damage will probably do a lot better all right, so they grab their Luna. All right. So as predicted, Flyer, uh, standard stuff. Uh, she's self buffing herself. It's a little weird. She has Wind Pressure. I don't know why. And then Wind God Realm. So no actual attack skill. Uh, you have Jessica, full AOE, has her both her primary skills. Uh, Juggler grabbed Summon for some reason. I think it was just to block one of the paths. Um, other than that, he grabbed some AoEs. Um, Sage of Trees, or Old Landius, is going to have uh, the faction buff, uh, which will cover these three characters. May actually cover Young Jessica as well. I don't remember her other her third faction. Uh, besides that, uh, only has Wave Whisper. So if he doesn't Clock Proc, uh, that will be his only terrain manipulation until he dies. And then Arian Rod... Um, it feels like these characters are not fully built. It's just kind of weird. Uh, Grand Cross, Adversity, and Total Destruction. Um, nothing... I don't usually see... I don't remember if I see Adversity that often for the one cost, but... There it is. <laughs> not much else to say about it. So, one thing to point out... Alright, can't do it though. Can't do it on my own characters, but here's the coverage right now with Illustrial. This is why you generally want to ban her on this map, because she's just going to go where she pleases. Uh, for my first action, I didn't really know what to do because I was a little concerned about the extra mobility. Because uh, with Luna, Young Jessica will be able to move even in a tank form. And then obviously this Bozal's not flying. Um, so all of them can take advantage of the extra mobility. So it really is going to come down to how Luna is going to be used on the first turn. So I went ahead and just moved up here just to kind of possibly flank around something that comes comes my way. My opponent opens with Wave Whisper. Nine times out of ten, this is usually clocked, but it didn't. So that is it for uh, terrain manipulation. That's all the terrain I have to deal with. All right, goes with Summon Undead. Uh, one thing to go ahead and point out, this is what happens to Illustrial's mobility with this uh, terrain here. It does definitely stifle it, but I definitely have a route down here that I can take advantage of or go up here. So doesn't really block her too badly. Anyway, as always, the summons are pathetically weak, so um, anyone could kill these. But it is actually blocking, completely blocking out um, Rosen Seal, so I would have to either waste a turn killing it or go around it. Alright. Alright, got Shaltir buffed up. All right, so Wind God Realm. So there's something to point out here. Um, I am just, I could technically get in range uh, by going here, and I can actually shoot at, shoot at Luna. And even with Last Rites, I could probably one-shot her, even with a regular attack. Uh, but th then I would just be stuck there, and essentially I would just, essentially I'll be throwing away my Lust Trail. So that was definitely something I did not want to happen. So. Didn't go anywhere too special, just it's gonna hang around there. So I went down this way. And my opponent decided to uh, move in with her Arian Rod. I don't know what the plan was. Uh, it's in range of Shaltier. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing maybe possibly she was thinking that the Zealots would hold off the, the werewolves. I don't know. I mean, at the very least, if someone was going to do this, they would usually just throw out the Grand Cross just so they can get their shields up. At least that would make her a very uh, suitable blocker for a while, because I would have to devote up two characters to kill her. And uh, devoting two turns while these AoEs are blasting me is actually pretty dangerous, but she didn't do that, so I don't know what the plan was. So I was like, alright, well, let's see how well I do against uh, Zealots. Uh, the other thing to note is uh, Faction Buff wasn't up yet, because he opened with uh, Old Landius opened with Wave Whisper, so Arian Rod had no buffs, so literally I just ran in and got the kill. Now here comes the Faction Buff. 
at this point. I was like, alright, well, Caster even at 3 range. And I would like to say this was planned, but it wasn't. Um, I was fully expecting to get killed by Luna. Uh, the plan was just to go in the forest, but the forest actually gave me enough additional mobility to actually get into that corner there and out of range of everything, so it was a free kill essentially. Alright, no AoEs. So it moving up like that uh, was actually a bad idea, uh, because put, moving it, moving this thing up um, pretty much meant Sophia was in range. Um, if it had hanged back, um, I wouldn't have been able to actually attack this with Sophia, and Rose, Rosalia would be out of, out of the fight for a little while longer. So regular attack, physical versus Freya. It goes as well as you expect it did. So, nearly dead. Wind pressure, okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the, um, I guess the wind pressure is just to take advantage of the princess faction buff. And as you can see, Sophia's gonna go ahead and kill the, the, um, the buff. At this point, my opponent gave up, because at that point, I had a full, I had a, I had a clear route to kill anything I want with Rose and the CL. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Let's uh, let's do one more. Oh yeah, and here's the uh, the damage dealt. It's pretty even in this fight, just simply because I was just going for raw kills at this point. All right, so this match is against Starless. Um, I see an SP. Uh, is that Sigma? Yeah, SP Sigma, um, which terrifies me because all the times I've tried to melee an SP Sigma, I've died. So. I don't really know, understand SP Sigma. <laughs> I probably should learn, but uh, that is the thing that pointed, that stood out to me. Uh, there was definitely a number of uh, AoEers. Uh, really, a lot of people that can do extra actions or teleports um, or provide additional mobility. Um, yeah, it's all really nasty stuff. Um, so right off the bat, I was like, I'm not dealing with Sigma because I, I don't know how he works. Uh, the Bane Mark Rosen Seal, no surprise there, where I hand grabbed my Freya. They went ahead and took care of my Illustrial and Deedlet. Uh, this gave me a free opening to go ahead and get a healer if I want one. Uh, went ahead and got rid of... Uh... Who is that character? I never remember his name. Rainforce. Yeah, um, so Rainforce is pretty nasty with his 3 cost and extra actions and spamming a bunch of debuffs. So definitely got rid of him, got rid of their other assassin. I uh, grabbed my assassin. Uh, it's not often I, I'm able to grab Zerida, but I was like, I, at this point, there's not much. So, uh, everything, majority of the things here are pretty squishy, so I definitely wanted to take advantage of that. Um, at this point, they banned, uh, they banned another one of my healers. Surprisingly, not my Florentia. Got rid of my shelves here. I was like, at this point, they got, they were getting rid of Meteor Faction, which was fine. Um, got rather Yulia because self resing did not want to deal with the nonsense that is uh, spamming um, three cost skills with old Landius on this map, so got rid of him. Uh, grab Florentia as my healer. Um, I was wondering if my opponent would ban Hilda as a result of this, but they didn't, so that actually gave me a kind of a unique opportunity. Uh, instead, they went and banned most of my other long range strikers and uh, assassins. Uh, they grabbed SP Elwin, which was completely fine by me. I went ahead and banned their Act again, got rid of their Aryan Rod. Went ahead and grabbed Helda at this point, because now I have my Florentia has a faction buff, which means her uh, commands will stack. They get rid of my long range nukers. They grab a Rachel. I get rid of Dila, because Dila is pain, and got rid of their Amelda, because Amelda provides additional mobility and a bunch of extra uh, potential damage. And went ahead and grabbed, uh, sorry, I keep forgetting names, Mariel. It's been a long time since I had to record these, so. I actually had some recordings of my of Awakenings, uh, but unfortunately I accidentally deleted it, <laughs> so I couldn't get it. Um, so that's why there was nothing for the previous banner. Also, I wasn't going to summon on the previous banner, uh, because there was no need to. Because it was just Kruger and Vincent. Alright, so let's dive into this. So going double tank here, um, I have, since I have Hilda, I was able to use Marielle, because Marielle can be faction buffed by Hilda. 
And then at the end of every one of Florentia's turns, she's going to get two of her battle strategies, uh, thanks to the, the faction buff here. Nothing too special here. I went Broken Spear, uh, because most of my opponents were melee. <clears throat> and then uh, pretty standard kits for everyone else. Um, my Florentia went with 3 cost AoE, Winning Strategy, and Strategic Regroup. Most of her healing is going to come for her, from her strategies, which was fine. And standard Assassin, Mary L stuff here. Um, nothing too special about Juggler, Elwyn Standard, Standard Landius, uh, single target Rachel with Glossable, so no AoEs at all. So I believe her the plan was to guard Rachel as best as possible and just try to blast away the tanks. Uh, excuse me. And then Rosen Seal is a standard full heal. So, faction buff. Make sure you get the faction buff before you have Florentia act so she can get two battle strategies. So at this point, I'm trying to see what I can do with... Um, the biggest danger is throwing away my damage dealers uh, before they do enough to, their, to the opposing force. Because the moment I lose my two DPSers, that's it. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Alright, applying Rush to Mariel. So this will get her up to uh, five movement. At the cost of two strategies, which gets her re re immediately refunded thanks to the faction buff. Alright, so with how things are set up here... Uh, my choices were to try to either go for uh, Rachel, uh, which was kind of a bit of a reach, or go for Elwyn, because Elwyn's still adjacent uh, to nearby people, uh, nearby allies. Uh, so with that, I'm able to kill um, Elwyn without worrying about self-resing. Also, I have Amazon champions, which go great against cavalry. So I'm completely fine with this trade here. Yeah, so since my attack was guarded, um, I got a bunch of extra damage, and my next attack was going to be immune to guard. So, got my kill on Elwyn. So all that's left that I have to worry about is Rachel, and technically Bozel. Bozel can hit hard, or not Bozel, uh, Juggler can hit rather hard, and also disable my guard. But I have two tanks here, so I should be okay. So, applying my, um, my guard here. Alright, going down here. So, Heart of Alizar. Um, at this point, I'm in, I'm in the position to get a kill on Rachel, but uh, of course, Jaguar has to ruin everything. So, he's going to do his uh, 3 cost skill, which will apply um, Beast Shock, which will pretty much prevent um, Zerida from moving. So Zerda is stuck there, uh, and I can't, and I don't have a way of pushing, uh, pushing him away. So until the either he moves away or that B shock wears off, um, my Zerda has been pretty much disabled, which is fine. I went ahead and did resounding might. Uh, this will, this is mostly for the healing and removing uh, cleansing buffs. I also gave her another strategy, which was fine. So I maxed out ten strategies at this point. And Rachel's coming in. At this point, I'm just not moving. I'm going to see if the juggler's going to... The juggler's most likely going to use his B-Shock this turn, which will reapply the debuff. Or uh, reapply the aura buff that prevents uh, mobility. So I'm going to have to wait another turn for it to wear off. Which is fine. I'm more concerned about Rachel potentially killing my Freya, so definitely healing up at this point. Use the battle strategy to heal her up. I think it heals for 70%, which is amazing. Alright, so went for uh, Freya, I think, but it ended up being guarded by Hilda. I uh, proc both wind wall, uh, so definitely made it so it wouldn't kill her. Um, at this point, I think all of her attack skills are on, de are on cooldown at this point, so I'm pretty safe. Also, her um, her gospel is worn off, so she has no attack buff at this point. So, still stuck in where uh, Zerd is still stuck, so I went ahead and just reapplied her um, 3 cost skill. Uh, because Juggler's. Um, the main thing to note was the turn order. Uh, Juggler is going to. I have two characters left. Uh, I'm going to pass turn with Freya, more than likely. And Juggler is just going to have to do something. And either way, the B Shock's going to wear off, and Zara is going to be able to move. And I have a Florentia, so 
He's gonna go ahead and apply his uh, Triton again. Doesn't have anything else he can do. Alright, and then Crystal Edge, backstab, kills Rachel. Alright, and that's it. So all they have left is tanks. And jugglers used everything. So nothing nothing can really be done at this point. So um Marielle did the most damage, but she had, that's because she attacked twice. I mean, Zerda only attacked once, so this this fight was completely dictated by essentially three attacks, and then the rest was just tanking and healing and just waiting for Bozel, uh, waiting for, I keep calling him Bozel, waiting for Juggler to uh, stop being a pain in the butt. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I do have uh, two more matches that still show off, but uh, I'll save that for the next time. So I am the Depressed Dior. This was Langerson Mobile Apex Season 7. See you guys later.